All right then, so now we have these two different types defined for our graph. We have the book type and the author type. So now we have those two different types, I think it's time we can start to introduce type relations. So what do I mean by that? Well, every book has an author, right? And every author has a collection of books. So we want to translate that idea into our GraphQL schema so that when a user queries a book from the front end and wants to know the author of that book, we can send back the author of that book as well. Because right now, GraphQL has no idea which book belongs to which author. So there's a few different steps we need to take to let GraphQL know that each book has a specific author. So the first thing we need to do is go up to our books right here, the, the actual data, and add in an author ID for each one of them. And that author ID is going to correspond to whichever ID down here of the author of that particular book. So for example, if I do name of the wind and put in an author ID property like so, and because Patrick Rothfuss wrote this, the author ID is going to be the ID of this author, which is one. Okay, likewise, this one here, the final empire, is going to have an author ID set to two, or rather, yep, two, the final empire, that was Brandon Sanderson. And then finally, this one, the long earth, which was Terry Pratchett, will give an author ID of three. Cool. All right then, so now the actual data has an author ID to associate each book with an author, right? But when a user queries an author, we don't really want to send back just the author ID. That would be a bit useless to the end user. They don't want to know a random ID of a particular author. Instead, what we want to do is send back the author associated with that book, right? We're just going to use this author ID in the back end when we're trying to query that data, when we're trying to retrieve it and send it back. So we said that each book is going to have an author and we're defining our book fields right here. The, these are the fields that we're sending back to the user, right? When they request them, an ID, a name and a genre. So likewise, if they request an author, we want to send that back to them. It makes sense, right? So then let's do a little comma here and add on the author property inside the fields. And this is going to be an object. And inside the object, we first need to say, what type of data is this? Much like we defined a type here in these objects, we're going to define a type right here. But what type is it? Well, it's an author type. We've already defined that type. So let's copy it and paste it right there. All right. Uh, the next property we need to do is the resolve function. So we already know that the resolve function is responsible for going out and grabbing data. When we use it down here in our root queries, for example, when someone requests a book or an author, the resolve function is responsible for looking at the actual data and returning what is needed, right? Then GraphQL takes that data and sends back to the user the exact properties that they wanted from that data, such as the name of the book and the genre. So that's what the resolve function does. And right here, it does exactly the same thing. If a user requests the author, inside a request for the book, then what we're going to do is use this resolve function inside the author to tell GraphQL which author corresponds to this book. Make sense? So we know that the resolve function takes in two parameters, the parent and also args. Now, inside this resolve function, how are we going to go out and get the author associated with whatever book was requested? Well, Imagine we made a request that looks something like this. We have the book root query right here, and we say that we want the book with an ID of two, and we want the name and genre properties as well as the author property. We're requesting this. We're, we're nesting this request inside the book request, and from the author, we want the name. Well, what we're doing is we're sending this initial root query for the book along, right? And down here, where we deal with that root query, we're getting all of the data right here, where we say underscore dot find, we're finding that particular book, right? So in GraphQL now, we have that data, we have that book object, including the author ID now of that book, because we just define an author ID property on the books. 
Now, this is where the first parameter parent comes into play here because when we have nested data, we already have the parent data, the book we just found that the user requested, and we have that data right here in the parent object. That's passed through to the resolve function. So on that parent object, we have all these different properties, right? And so what we can do is look at this and say, okay, well, now from the parent object, I can see the author ID and I can use the author ID, therefore, to go out and find that particular author based on the ID property of the author. So let's do that inside this resolve function. First of all, what I'll do just to show you is console.log, the actual parent, and we'll see that log to the console in a minute when we test this out. Then what we'll do is we'll return and then we're going to use underscore again dot find. Then inside this, we want to look in the authors array. So we'll pass in the authors as the first parameter. And what we want to do is find the author whose ID property matches parent, which is the book we've queried dot author ID. All right. So now what we're doing is looking through the authors array for that author who has an ID equal to the parent ID. So the ID of the book we initially requested, right? The author ID of that book rather. So let's save that now. And what I'm gonna do is just scoot over to the um, front end using graphical. So if I just cut this for now and refresh, then we'll get rid of this stuff over here as well so we don't get an error. Okay, now we'll paste that request, uh, request in here. And what we're doing is saying, okay, we want the book with an ID of two. That's the root query. Uh, we want the name and the genre of that book. But now we're also asking for the author and the name of the author. So if I press play now, then we're going to see that author field return to us. That is freaking awesome, right? So what GraphQL is doing behind the scenes is using that resolve function over here. If I open up the code again using this resolve function to take the parent, the book we requested, and then find the author based on that parent. And then we're just sending back the name of the author because that's all we asked for. But if we wanted to, we could send other stuff back about the author if we requested it, such as the age over here and even the ID if we wanted. So press play. And now we get those three properties back as well. All right, so that's how we can deal with nested and related data in GraphQL. And I said we'd take a look at the console, which we will do. We logged out the parent each time around when we made a request. And we can see the parent is equal to the initial book that we requested. All right, so we can see that author ID right here, which is what we're using on that parent object that's passed through to the resolve function to query it, bring it back. GraphQL does its thing and sends back to the front end whichever data properties we've requested. All right, cool.